anything for the chance to gain nothing. Chris Hemsworth? Percy Oscars. Oh, I don't even want to look at me. Excuse me, Roseanne? Oh, relax. I'm a man, man. Everybody's so sensitive. Michael Strahan? Okay, well, here's the fun fact about the Oscars. Back to you, football. Kanye West, take one. The best actor? Uh uh. What about best human, bro? My Twitter's never been a problem. Scroll it. Oh, where do we begin? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's funny. Yeah. Well, Michael Knowles, Knowles is the host of the Michael Knowles Show, and you see something like that. Uh, they're right. Sometimes comedy uh, is dead on. And they're saying, why in the world would someone risk their career to do the Oscars? This is exactly right. SNL got it exactly right. Typically, not the funniest thing in the world, but they made the point nonetheless, which is this is the most thankless job in Hollywood. There is nothing to gain whatsoever. It's a worse job than getting the response at the State of the Union address. Uh, what Kevin Hart showed us is that it, it, this new standard now is that if you have ever made a gay joke in your career, you are disqualified from hosting the Oscars. This disqualifies statistically 100% of living comedians. So the new idea is that they're going to replace the Oscar host with a rotating panel of performers. And this really is the typical cowardice of our age. We want to be everything to everybody. We want to be completely inoffensive. We don't want to assert anything. And this is where the PC left thrives. The left has always disdained the individual. They've always exalted the collective. And so now you, you see why millennials, for instance, won't say, I think that, or I believe that. They'll only say, I feel like. It's why the left encourages us to say happy holidays instead of Merry Christmas. They're replacing the particular and the individual with this bland, inoffensive collective, which is completely unentertaining. And, you know, the Oscars have suffered a ratings a complete decline over the last few years. And now they're promising us it's going to be even less entertaining. Oh, I can't wait to tune in. I'm sure we're all just going to be sitting there with our popcorn. You know, Michael, you mentioned millennials, and uh, another topic came across my mind today where millennials are now taking adulting classes. Uh, it's becoming a new trend. They learn basic skills like sewing, cooking, how to deal with relationships. We know they're, they're, they're living at home longer. What is it with this delayed adolescence and what is it doing to our society? Well, I would worry about speaking ill of my fellow millennials, but statistically none of them are awake this early to be watching this program, so it's okay. Adulting is the phrase that millennials use to congratulate themselves for not behaving like children. And I'm actually all for the adulting classes. This is very important. According to the uh, U.S. Census, more than a third of young Americans, 18 to 34, are living in their childhood homes with their parents. This number is way up since 2005. We now know that the majority of American millennials have relied on their parents for financial assistance since turning 21. More millennials are living with their parents than are living with spouses or are living with roommates. And this is because their teachers and their parents have failed them. They have failed millennials. Uh, you're exactly right. Listen, I don't even blame the millennials. I blame the boomers. I blame, yeah, sure. I blame the parents who they, 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 did, they confuse the fact that parenting is about child rearing. It's about raising up citizens and kids and teaching them instead of putting them in front of an iPad and saying, good luck. Mm -hmm. This is exactly right. You now have an entire generation. Maybe the parents, maybe the teachers meant well, but the road to hell is paved with good intentions. So you have this completely ignorant, completely helpless generation that not only can't balance a checkbook, they don't even know that they should go out and get a full-time job. They can't cook, they can't sew, they can't do much of anything at all. This doesn't help society. This doesn't help the millennials themselves. So if they've got to learn how to adult at the age of 35, that's a little pathetic, but better late than never. <laughs> I gotta sit in on one of these classes, Michael. Oh, oh man. Go no, no, no. back and reward. Yeah. Thanks so said. much, Michael. Yeah. What do you think about adulting? Is, Is it, it about time for millennials yeah. to get off the couch, friends, and talk to each other? We'll find out.